Alright, in this case, we've got a magazine, a Tower Hobby Speed Mart magazine. Okay, tear a little piece off of the corner. And we just have a little strip of the magazine. This piece. Put the piece of paper between the pinion gear, which is a little one, and the spur gear, which is the big one, and push the motor in pretty hard so that it bends the paper. Then tighten down both screws. Start with the bottom one and keep pressure on it because it might try to rotate the motor when you put it in. Okay? Then spin the pinion gear and you should be good. Um, another way you can do this is to run the motor. Um, and uh, adjust this as you're running the motor and listen if it's making a real loud grinding sound it's too tight if it's making a um, if it's making a real high pitch sound that's too loose I don't like that because you can screw up your spur gear okay then you have a reassembled transmission make sure you got the piece of tape on all right transmission is off the car and we'll take your outdrive, put it on, make sure there's a flat spot on the differential outdrive. Make sure you line up your Allen screws with the flat spots or else it's going to get loose and come off. Okay, then tighten down the Allen screws. Make sure it's pretty tight but not too tight. You can use Loctite on this if you want. I pop mine in on and off pretty often so I don't like to tighten them down with Loctite. Okay, and then the other one. Alright, make sure these spin pretty freely, and if they do, you are good to go. Now, you'll want to put the transmission back in the car. Put the outdrives in first. That makes life a lot easier. Sometimes you have to push this thing in pretty hard. There it goes. Alright, now make sure both of your out drives are still attached. Then put in that long screw with the threads at the top. In. Tighten them. Alright, and now you should have this. Make sure the tires roll pretty freely. If they do, that means you did a good job. Alright, go want to put the screws back in the bottom of your transmission down here. Make sure you put the right screws in the right holes. Alrighty, now your transmission should be held on there pretty sturdy. Okay, take your gear cover, put it back on, screw there at the bottom, screw at the top. Screws are somewhere else. And make sure you came out with no more pieces than you put in. See, I just replaced all the differential gears and that's all I have here.